Good morning, booktube. Well, it's the second day of my vlog. This is January 31st, and I'm going to be starting my second graphic novel. This is Miss Quintas um, by Kat Fajardo. And I'm going to go ahead and read the synopsis for you here. Uh, it says, have a good trip. Don't forget your tiara. Uh, main character's name is Sue. Just wants to spend the summer reading and making comics at a sleepaway camp with her friends. But instead, she gets stuck going to Honduras to visit relatives with her parents and two sisters. They live way out in the country, which means no texting, no cable, and no internet. The trip takes a turn for the worse when Sue's mother announces that they'll be having a surprise quinceanera for Sue, which is the last thing she wants. She can't imagine wearing a big, floofy, colorful dress. What is Sue going to do? And how will she survive all this quality time with her rambunctious family? Uh, so I kind of looked up... Um, on the internet what a quinceanera is and that's apparently um like a, when a young girl in latin america kind of it's 15 so she's transitioning from girlhood to womanhood uh kind of like a sweet 16 would be um and uh yeah so she's gonna be having this party and having to wear this horrible dress but i think it's hilarious that her name is sue <laughs> yes i would much rather be spending my summer reading and making comics at a camp with friends. <laughs> anyway, I will report back. Um, I'm going to go have some lunch right now and um, dig into this as well. Uh, time for lunch. So I just heated up some leftovers. Had some chicken. Uh, and then from another meal, I had some spinach and some vegetables left over. Just kind of threw it all together. Heated it up. Just quick lunch. I can't cook, but I can combine leftovers and make something out of it. Miss Quintas, and this is about a, a young girl named Sue, uh, short for Sue Yapa. Uh, the funny thing is she has a younger sister named Esther, which is my mom's name, so we have Sue and Esther in the same book. I laughed out loud when I came across that one, but it's about this young girl. She's very into art. She likes to hang out with her friends, but anytime she tries to hang out with her friends, she's got to have her sisters along for chaperone. Uh, her mom's very strict, not letting her kind of go out and just hang out with her friends and just do the things she likes, so she feels like She's always being kind of controlled and stuff, and she really wants to go to this summer camp with the rest of her friends, but her mom insists that Sue joins the rest of the family in Honduras like they do every year, um, and what she doesn't tell her is when she gets there that she has arranged a surprise ceremony, a quinceanera, which is the ceremony for when a young girl turns 15 and transitions from girlhood to womanhood, and there's this whole whole ceremony that they have to go through which is kind of explained in the book and then a little bit more in detail in the back of the book for those who don't know what that is like myself <laughs> and um she's mortified she's she's upset she refuses to do it but then with the help of the, her her ab abuela her grandma um they her and her mom kind of come to uh an agreement she's got a um do something on her side uh, for her to agree to do this i won't go into all the detail about it but Anyway, it was really nice to see, um, you know, something that I wasn't familiar with about this whole ceremony and, and all the things involved in it. Uh, it was really beautifully illustrated, really colorful. You might have seen just before um, this clip here. I've showed you some of the uh, artwork within the book. Uh, she's an interesting little character. She's told quite often uh, by various people. She's very sh kind of shy. She doesn't like to be the limelight. That's why she doesn't want to have one of these ceremonies because you're basically, you know, in the limelight. Um, 
she's told to, especially by her grandma, not to worry about what other people think. And that's kind of a, a running theme. Be yourself. Um, you know, just, just don't give a, you know, F about what anybody else thinks. Just be yourself. And uh, I love the, the picture on the cover of her wearing these kind of look like work boots <laughs> underneath her dress. Um, yeah, it was really super cute. Going back into the stack here, I think I'm probably going to go with the one here on top next. Uh, I'll be reading this one tomorrow. This is Pause. Gabby Gets It Together, number one in a series. Looks like cute illustrations and great dogs. And those are the uh, artists and authors of the book. So I'll start that one tomorrow. Right now, I'm looking to go get some dinner. So I just finished dinner. Uh, I think I'm probably going to sit down and read a little bit of Click. This is the uh, one novel told by 10 authors that I've been kind of working my way through. Um, kind of about right there. Not too much left to finish it off. It's pretty decent. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here so I can get this uploaded. And I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, pause. <laughs>